And one man who will certainly take part in the next round of heated negotiations on Capitol Hill over whether or not to raise the debt ceiling and also what happens with the 2012 budget joins us right now. Senator Jeff Sessions, he is the ranking Republican on the Senate Budget Committee. Senator, great to see you today. Good morning, Shannon. Afternoon, I, I guess. I guess it is afternoon now. I, I want to ask you about something that David Pluff said a little bit earlier today, and we have since confirmed. The president is going to lay out a long-term debt and deficit reduction plan. We understand it'll come on Wednesday. What do you make of that announcement? Well, it's well, long overdue. The budget that he submitted, as he's required to by law, did nothing about our long-term problems. It raised taxes, $1.7 trillion. It increased spending. It proposes next year. This is the budget that's before the Senate now. Uh, increased education 10 percent, energy 9.5, State Department 10.5 percent, transportation 60 percent, includes the high-speed ra high rail. So those proposals are just unrealistic. We don't have the money. And so I think he needs more than to just give a speech. I think he's going to need to submit a new budget that shows how the numbers add up and call on the people to evaluate it as we in Congress are required to do. Now, we don't have any details yet. We don't know exactly what this plan will include. We just know it's aimed at reducing the debt, which everyone agrees needs to happen. Um, do you think that he felt the pressure to put out a new plan, a new path, something that may mark a different direction for him because of what we just saw play out over the 2011 budget funding and all the fighting here in Washington? Well, I think Eric Cantor was exactly right. That's exactly how I have analyzed the situation that the American people do know we need to change. Business as usual cannot continue. Even people in his White House and in the Senate, Democrats, know this has got to change. So he's now basically in retreat. He's making a speech about how he plans to change, and I hope it's sincere. But he resisted just a few days ago almost any cuts in spending. Uh, and after finally they were dragged kicking and screaming to two-thirds of what the House proposed, the President celebrated it as if it was his own suggestion. But regardless, we're heading in the right direction. The battle will continue for many years, frankly. It will, and of course, one battle teeing up right now is the 2012 budget. Uh, Congressman Paul Ryan from the House Budget Committee has uh, outlined his plan. It's very aggressive. Um, how much of a chance do you think that it has? I mean, the immediate response to it from the Democrats was that it provides tax breaks for multimillionaires, it leaves seniors out in the cold, uh, and it's got more negative than positive in their view. Uh, it was attacked by the Democratic politicians very aggressively, great to my great disappointment. But the Debt Commission, appointed by President Obama, uh, Erskine Bowles and Alan Simpson, praised it as being straightforward, serious, saying anybody that had another type, another idea, should use those kind of accounting numbers because it was a legitimate way to confront the challenges we face. I think Ryan's proposal is the most historic budget uh, maybe in the last hundred years. Uh, we, because the crisis we're in is so severe, the hole we're in is so deep, uh, he's made a very realistic but tough challenge to America uh, to put us on the path to prosperity and get us off the path to fiscal crisis. It certainly is going to have a, a hard fight through Capitol Hill. Something else that's coming is the debt ceiling. We have almost reached what we are able to borrow at this point as a country. There is a vote coming. You know, do you feel that you have the power to negotiate at this point? Because almost everybody agrees it would be exceptionally dangerous for this country not to vote an increase in the debt ceiling. Um, but how things just played out here recently over the CR, just in the last 48 hours or so, do you feel like Republicans will be in a place to negotiate or simply that the White House will call your bluff because they know they've got to have the debt ceiling raised? Well, I think Speaker Boehner was speaking the truth, uh, I guess, yesterday when he said there will be no debt ceiling increase unless we make serious changes in the way we've been doing business. Uh, the debt limit is almost like a credit card limit. American people can understand that. Uh, we've reached that limit far sooner, Shannon, than we ever expected. We're spending dramatically uh, more than we take in. Forty cents of every dollar we spend a day is borrowed. This is unacceptable. It's dangerous to America. So we believe uh, that the president has got to come forward to, in a bi bipartisan effort to rein in systemically some of the bad things that are, are allowing this to happen. So if he does not come forward with that, we're not going to pass a debt increase. He's got to, and if he cannot blame that on the American people and the Congress for saying you have to have changes in your behavior first.
Uh, quickly, is there any way for you to quantify what it would take, any specifics that are sort of non-negotiable that you need to see before you would vote yes to raise the ceiling? A lot of ideas are being discussed that would make a difference, like doing a two-year budget instead of every year. Uh, that could save money and really make the government more effective. Uh, we could have statutory caps on spending, in other words, uh, within the Congress each year, and that would help no doubt we've seen that work in the past. We need a balanced budget constitutional amendment. It failed by one vote when I first came to the Senate in 1997. Uh, we obviously see now we should have passed it then or uh, we wouldn't be in the trouble we are in. But some of those things are the kind of things that could put us on the right course. All right. Much work ahead for you and your colleagues. Uh, just a couple of blocks from here, Senator Jeff Sessions, thank you always for your time. Thank you.